Good day guys, how are you doing? Well today we're going to have a watch match. So in the blue we have a squally number 1545-ORIG. Okay. In the red we have a Steinhardt Ocean 1 vintage red 103 0657. And for the referee, we have no other than, huh, look at him. Well, he's a referee. Look at the necktie he's wearing. He's not a biased referee. Look at him. I don't think he's biased. Or do you, well, maybe he is biased. Look at that necktie. Well, he keeps that close by, doesn't he? So what has he been doing? Oh, good afternoon. Just waiting for a call from the Rolex waiting list. Hmm. All right, we'll get started. He's a referee, okay. Squally 200 meter Swiss, Swiss automatic dive watch with ceramic bezel, domed AR sapphire crystal. And there's the number. Steinhardt Ocean One vintage red. There's the number. Watch features. Watch features. Okay, squally. Movement. Swiss ETA 2824-2 automatic. Okay. Steinhardt. Movement. Swiss ETA 2824-2. SW. 200, which, as far as I know, that means Salida, a labor. Hmm, a labor. So if you go to a dance and you ask a, a girl, like, let's say you go to a dance, you ask a girl to dance. If you describe yourself as a labor, she's going to slap you across the face. Okay. Case. Polished and brushed. Now, this is a squally. Polished and brushed. 316L stainless steel, 40 millimeters times 12.1 millimeters thick, and that's 13.5 millimeters thick, including domed crystal. All right. Hmm. Now the Steinhardt case, stainless 316L steel, satined and polished 42 millimeters height 13 millimeters now the steinhardt's a little bit bigger isn't it two millimeters bigger okay now for the squally in the blue back solid screw in back okay the steinhardt back stainless steel 316l screwed Okay. Squally crystal. Okay. Domed anti reflective sapphire. Hmm. Steinhardt crystal. Sapphire glass medium domed with double anti reflective or reflecting coating on the interior. Hmm. Okay. Squally band. S E L stainless steel bracelet with deployant closure. 20 millimeter lug. Okay. Band. Steinhardt. Stainless steel, 22, 18. That means 22 at the case, 18 at the clasp. Screwed safely. Screwed safely. Hmm. Deployment, clasp, deployment. What the hell? Deployment. You better ask this guy about that. That's a referee. Deployment. Jeez, uh, deployment. Okay, all right. Uh, that is that's just an error there. They they did it that way. That's their own fault at Steinhardt. They don't know the difference between deployment and deployant. Okay? 
Now, deployment, that means you're sending something off like to a battle or something, okay? Now, the referee's here. He's going to say something. What's he got to say? Okay. All right. That's what he's saying. All right. No, he's busy too. Okay. Okay. Squally. Water resistant, 200 meters. Okay. Well, that's not bad. Steinhardt. Water resistant, 300 meters. Oh, you can go a little deeper with that. Okay. Hmm. Squally. Warranty, two years. Hmm. Steinhardt. Warranty, 14 days. 14 days? You better ask the referee about that. 14 days. What's he got to say now? Oh, he's busy. Okay. I guess he don't care much. He don't care. All right. All right, referee. Okay. Now what we got here? Squally. 44, 40, 40 millimeter diameter. Not 44, 40. Okay. We got that straight. Now, 40 millimeters is a pretty good size. If you got a small wrist, that 40 millimeters could be very well too big for you. So you got to watch that. I got to just chime in here. Maybe the referee don't have much to say about that. What's he got to say? Oh, okay, that's what he's got to say about it. Oh, jeez, okay. Okay. Steinhardt. 42 millimeter. That's the size of the case. Ah, like if you got a small wrist, that's going to be too big for you. I mean, you got to really pay attention to the wrist size because, you know, like you don't want the watch just hanging off your wrist. They're so heavy. So you pay attention to that stuff. Okay, Squally, Super Luminova. Hmm. Steinhardt, Super Luminova. Wow. Squally, price, $595 USA money, free USA shipping. Hmm. All right, well, that's a little expensive. Steinhardt. Price, $433 USA, shipping, $33 USA. Hmm. All right. So, referee's not saying much here, is he? Hmm. Oh, he's busy. Yeah, he's busy. Look at that. What do you expect from this guy? He's busy. All right. Yeah, he's busy. What's his bottom line? Okay. All right. We, we know what to expect from this guy, don't we? Look at them. Look at them. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, okay. But anyway, so I'm not going to tell you guys which one's better. I'm going to let you guys decide which one's better. So there's the squally, all the stuff about that. Okay, take a good look. There's all squally stuff there. And there's all the stuff about the Steinhardt, the features, okay? Take a real good look, you guys. Take a real good look. So, when you think about it, there's really not that, that much difference between the two, the price and the size, you know. And the movement's pretty similar. Hmm. Okay. Now, you guys think about that. Now, think about watches that you haven't seen before. You look at the specifications. Now you gotta think about what size of wrist you have and the specifications and stuff and think about it. Just don't listen to whatever all these guys say that, you know, all these guys say that's busy doing this. You know, don't listen to what they say is busy doing this and busy doing that, of course, and you know, that's what they really think, okay? So, I got to thank you guys, the ones that subscribe, the ones that are watching, and subscribe, you guys. It's, we're going to have fun with this. We're going to learn something, save a few bucks.